Let's work with functions in the TI Inspire. Now I'm using my CAS online program, but it's really the same as my CAS calculator. Much of what we're doing today will also work on your CX2 without the algebra system in it. Let's go ahead and dive right in. I'm here at the home screen. If you're not at the home screen, you can go ahead and click the on button to get to your home screen. We're gonna go to the scratch pad, but all of this can also be done in documents. To go to the scratch pad, you can either hit the letter A or you can click this button over here to take you right to the scratch pad. Now there are a couple of different ways to define a function with this calculator. I'm gonna show them to you, but I'm also gonna show you which one I think is the best. You can tell it to define by typing define. It's a little bit of a pain with this keyboard. Okay, so there we go, define. And then I'm gonna hit the space bar and then type in f of x equals, let's say that we want that to be x squared. So I'm gonna type that x button and then you can type the x squared button or you can do the caret followed by the two. And then I hit enter and it just says done. But this means that I can now use that function to evaluate say what is f of three. Let's see, that should be three squared. If I hit enter, sure enough, we get nine. Now there's an easier way to get to that define function and that's by going to your menu. I'm gonna click on menu. I wanna choose actions and you can do that by clicking on it, but I'm gonna go ahead and just choose number one. It gives me all of my actions and right there at the top is number one. I'm gonna define a different function here. Let's do f of x is equal to, let's do x cubed this time. So I'm gonna type the letter x and then I'm looking for that caret which is over here by x squared and I'm gonna do x cubed and let's do plus uh, plus 2x squared, 2x, and then I hit my squared button, and then we'll hit enter. Now, if I just type in f of x, it's going to tell me that it is written over my first definition, and now f of x is this cubic. Now there's a third way, and the third way uses the colon equals. That colon equals is over here on your keypad right next to the number nine. We're gonna need our control button to do that. So we type in f of x, and then I'm gonna use colon equals. So control followed by that colon equals button. This also means define. This time, let's go ahead and do x squared. So I'm gonna do x squared and then minus um, four, and then we hit done. Now I can define a couple of functions here. I like to use the menu. I think this is the most efficient way to get to that define feature. I'm gonna do menu and then number one followed by number one. So let's define also a g of x. So I'm gonna do g of x is equal to, let's just do a really simple two x there. Now I've got some really great tools that I can use. For example, I could do f of one, what would f of one be? That would be one squared minus four, that would be negative three, plus g of one, and g of one would be two. So that would be negative three plus two, I should get a negative one, and sure enough, I get a negative one. Now, if you happen to be using the CAS version of this calculator, it will do even more. So we can take this x squared minus four and we can solve it. I'm gonna go back into my menu to get all of my options for the calculator view. And I'm gonna go down to algebra, or you can type number three, and I'm gonna choose solve. If you are on the non-CAS version, that CX version, then you'll have an N solve, which means numerical solve. It cannot do the algebra for you. This one can though. So I'm going to choose number one here and it says, what do you want to solve? I want to solve f of x equals zero. And I need to tell it what variable I'm solving for. These have two parameters, the equation and the variable. So I'm going to solve this for x and I end up with those two possible answers, negative two or x equals two. 
this is even available in test mode, which is amazing. Now, whether you've got the CAS calculator or not, you can graph these functions as well. Let me toggle to the graph of my scratch pad and I can toggle using this button here. So toggling back and forth and I'm going to hit the tab button or you can hit the up arrow to reveal your function. So I'm going to choose tab to reveal my functions and it says, what is your first function that you want to graph? Well, I really want to graph that X squared minus four. So I'm just going to type in F of X. It will remember that we defined this as X squared minus four. Now back on the calculator, I asked where f of x was equal to zero. It gave me these solutions, which are also my x-intercepts. Take a look at that graph. I'm going to arrow up so that you can see that it's the function still. And I've got x-intercepts, sure enough, at negative two and positive two. I've got more videos to help you get the most out of your calculator. Take a look at this one next.